How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to talk about a popular health and fitness question. We've all heard about weight loss success stories, about people who've lost 40 pounds on the gluten-free diet while we sit at home on the couch with a bag of chips watching The Bachelor. But when we lose weight, and more specifically fat, where does it go? Thanks for the question because it's a good one. In this video, I'm going to explain where fat goes when we lose it based on what science has shown. If you are interested to see where I am pulling my information from, feel free to check out the description below. And without further delay, let's get started. The most popular answer that I get whenever I ask this question is that fat is burned off by the body and then lost to the atmosphere as energy. After all, that's why the phrase fat burning has been thrown around so liberally in today's society. It has to make sense, right? Unfortunately, this theory violates a very important scientific law, the law of conservation of mass. This law states that matter cannot be created or destroyed. So by saying that fat is burned off and lost to the Krispy Kreme gods just doesn't make any sense. It has to be turned into something. So what is it turned into and how on earth does it leave your body? Let's take a closer look. From a biochemical perspective, fat or triglyceride is composed of multiple carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms to form this chemical formula. To burn it, your body must go through a process called fat oxidation. And in order for fat oxidation to take place, you need oxygen, hence the name. Once you have both compounds together, a massive amount of science happens in the form of lipolysis, mitochondrial beta oxidation, and the electron transport chain, but I'm not going to get into that because that's about as interesting as watching the Leafs play. And after all this science takes place, we are left with two byproducts, H2O and CO2, carbon dioxide and water. It's just that simple. So how does this all come together when you're dieting or slaving away in the gym? Let's find out. Okay, so say for example, you want to lose 10 pounds. Based on the chemical formula that I discussed earlier, that's going to require about 29 pounds or 13 liters of oxygen in order to burn off all that fat. So where are you going to get oxygen from? Of course, you're going to breathe it in. So to lose more fat, I just have to hyperventilate. Push, Mrs. Johnson, push! Or you can just consume less and exercise regularly. That's going to decrease the amount of fat you need to burn and increase the amount of oxygen coming into your system. What a brilliant idea. I wonder why nobody else has thought of that. So back to the original question. Where does fat go when you lose it? Fat is burned using oxygen, which is then converted into carbon dioxide, which you exhale, and water, which you are either going to sweat out, urinate out, or cry out, if you're one of my special clients. Do you have a health, fitness, or wellness related comment or question that you'd like me to discuss? If so, leave it in the comment section below, or on Facebook or Twitter, and hey, who knows? Maybe your comment or question will be featured in one of my later videos. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and share it with your friends. And if you'd like to see me make more content, please subscribe to my channel and hit that big red button right below me. I release new videos every week. In any case, thank you all so much for watching and stay strong.